Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Well, we meet again, and this time I will show you another beautiful of debit and credit rules. Yeah? Okay. Here, as we know, that that we show here is a cash flow. Uh, is a uh, profit or loss statement, and uh, normally prepared for the user of accounting for the user of report, which consists of sales, cost of sales. We have gross profit, gain from sales. Uh, of patterns, loss on sale plan, you have salaries and operating expenses, compensation, depreciation, profit from operation, interest spend, interest income, taxation, and property after tax. And later on, we move to the next statement that normally provided in the accounting statement. There is your st statement of financial position for the two years. We have your ordinary share 2014 and ordinary share 2013. This is two years of the financial position for the company here actually this is the final financial statement that need to be prepared but we have another financial statement uh, that must be also prepared right so here is the uh, operating activities of the company but another statement is about cash flow statement right? but how the difference between the cash flow and the operating activities or the profit or loss yeah? the first we have the definitely la, the 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 title is different. Here is your profit or loss statement. Here is your statement of cash flow. Yeah, that. Uh, but it's also for the end. Uh, the same thing goes to this profit or loss where it actually shows that how much is the flow of the cash from the beginning of the year until the end, right? And then for operating activity, we have sales state statement about how much sales earn. For one year but cash flow statement we want to know uh, the operating activities relate to the operating activities which is actually involve cash from the sales yeah? it's like the operating management would like to have very happy to sell we have sales this much 7.062 million but for the management of cash we're not interested we're interested to know how much cash receipt from customer from your sales right and then we have co uh, cost of sales yeah? the cost of sale remember the formula is opening stock large purchases minus closing stock uh, yeah for the cash flow we want to know how much cash you pay for your purchase so this is cash paid to supplier right and then we have another all the expenses that normally happen in the company yeah, throughout the year uh, for example, the salaries and operator expenses again for the cash flow statement. We want to know how much cash you pay for the expenses. So we have cash paid to employees and other expenses. Yeah, from here we are going to get the profit from operation in the operating activity. But in the cash flow statement, we'll get cash flow from operation, right? And then as we can see further, we have interest expense. What is this? <coughs> it is the interest incurred for the year but the cash flow statement we want to know how much you pay for your interest so we have interest paid right and then we have later on we move to the interest income and this interest income normally we get from our uh, cash deposit in the banks uh, our saving uh, earn and then we also have uh, if you in from investment so that's actually it's not from operating it's from investing activity so just leave it here first right and then we have taxation so the taxation is taxation income for the year but cash flow we want to know how much tax paid for the year, right and then there's uh, no other statements uh, more here we are going to get all your profit after tax so therefore in the cash flow you want to show how much you receive cash from your operating activities right and then we move on to our profit or loss uh, no we move on to our financial position in the financial position position we have uh, non-current asset we have current asset we have the uh, finance buy or the share equity share capital and reserve and also your liabilities right so here is about your non-current asset yeah so your non-current is to show that how much is your uh, Profit, uh, property plan increment, your biological asset, your pattern, and your non-carry asset 
and other non-tariffs that involved. But for the cash flow statement, we want to know how much actually you get from your investing activities which involve cash in your, uh, from your uh, non-current asset, right? So here, anything about cash flow, such as you purchase, offer of the cash, you sell of your non-current asset, we call it investing activities, right? And then you have to show all of them by having total of your cash flow from investing activities, right? And then once you're done with all these assets, we move to the your equity, share capital, and liability. So this is actually the financing this those asset. We call it financing activities. Yeah? All this uh, involving your issue share your reserve and long-term liability actually we call it or we categorize in your asset finance activity so later on you have to show how much exactly the cash inflow or outflow from the financing activities then once you are done with the these three activities actually normally involved in your uh, company then later on you have to show how much actually your cash and cash equivalent whether it is outflow or inflow regards or relate to these three activities. Then later on, what should you do? You have to add to the cash and cash equivalent beginning of the year to get your cash and cash equivalent end of the year. But the problem here, what is cash and cash equivalent? Cash and cash equivalent actually it consists of many items. We have cash in bank, we have cash at bank, we have cash in hand, we have short term investment, and then we have bank of the trust. So that's why we have to provide notes yeah, to calculate or to total your cash and cash equivalent. So we have to show how much is cash and cash equivalent being on there until the end of the year. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm so showing you actually how we get or how the cash flow statement have to be prepared and how it is related to our other financial statements. Uh, okay. So inshallah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'll show you what should we do if we have this information. We have uh, your profit or loss for the current year. We have your soft P last year. And you have your financial position current year. Right? So here actually from this information, you can prepare your cash flow statement. Yeah? So the first thing you should do, I recommend, eh, the first step is to open all these soft, uh, I, soft P item or your financial position item into T account. We call it... Uh, ledger approach eh? so here as we can see the first item we have ordinary share uh, this is the opening balance this is the closing balance on the 13 and 1 million so as we know this is equity account so therefore equity and liability therefore the opening balance must be on the credit side right so we just simply move this so then we have some space for the credit and debit Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, that we already complete our cash flow statement format. And this one starting with the cash flow from operating, and uh, cash flow from investing, and cash flow from financing. Actually, this format is known as a direct method. Why? Because we can get direct information from the uh, account, right? So here, I already arranged for you. For the uh, soft fee item or financial position item, for all the liabilities and capital, ma the opening balance must be on the credit balance, right? And then, uh, for the asset, the opening balance must be on the debit balance, right? And then, the closing balance must be on the opposite sides of the account, right? So, the next thing you should do is to use your, or to, co uh, to utilize your information on the Profit or loss. And the first item we have is sales. Right? So sales here is an orange color, actually represent the credit balance. Yeah? So the sales should be recorded or put it back in the trade receivable here. Yeah? It is credit, then you debit the receivable account. And then you move, uh, move further to the cost of sales. Yeah? The cost of sale, what we have just now, opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. So actually, it goes to the inventory account so we have inventory account here yeah so this is debit put it on the credit side there 
Alright, and there you have gross profit. What this gross profit is not account actually. It's just a matter of difference between sales and cost of sale. So let's just leave it there. And then we have your gain from sales of pattern. Mean you have sold the pattern during the year. So that one actually, I recommend you to open a uh, temporary account. We call it disposal account. So this is credit. Put it on the debit side of the disposal account. Right, and then move further to the other uh, information about loss on sales of plant the loss mean expense to the account so this is your debit so post to the another uh, credit side of disposal account eh? and then this is salaries and operating expenses X you can see here we don't have actually really relevant account involved uh, with the salaries and operating expenses we do have we call it with the salaries or operating expenses or expenses prepaid or uh, accrued so since we don't have any, we can assume actually this salary is operating expenses already fully paid by the cash. So just go straight to the cash flow statement under uh, cash paid to employees and other expenses. So here we have debit, so credit with cash flow statement. Here cash flow statement means credit outflow of the cash, right? And then you have compensation, yeah? The relate, the relevance account is for the compensation is a provision for the compensation since this is expenses you debit put it on the credit side of the account right and then you have your depreciation so depreciation is a, about decreasing of the asset so where you have expenses income for the year so debit so credit your property plan agreements but this is the only asset that actually reduce or have depreciation for the year and then we have profit from operation it's nothing it's actually it just differences of the revenue minus expenses, right? And then you have interest expense, credit as a, a debit as your expenses incurred for the year. So the most relevant account relates to this interest expense is interest payable. Yeah, so where is the interest payable here? Do we have interest payable? No. Mean all the interest incurred already paid by the cash. So go into the interest pay outflow of the cash. So debit, credit. Yeah? Then we have interest income. Again, look at your account. Do you have interest income receivable or accrued? Whatever it is, no. Yeah. So go straight to the investing activities as interest income inflow of the cash, right? And then you have taxation, right? So taxation actually we have tax payable here, right? So it goes to the tax payable, debit your account, debit your account, and credit your tax payable account, right? Um, all right, here so debit and credit, yeah. And then last, we have profit after tax. So normally, I recommend you this profit after tax. We have to post to the retained profit, increase your retained profit. So, here your retained profit comes. So, I'm going to move your retained profit here. So, easy to, to have some more space here, yeah. And then your uh. Yeah, the profit after tax should be increasing your retained profit for the year from the opening balance to the current year increase so you have your credit balance. So you can see, right? Why the colors is not the same? Yeah, here all the credit should be on the with the blue colors and we have orange on the debit side. But why on earth we have profit after tax on the uh, orange color on the credit side? But actually, what we do, or what happened here, we have to close profit or loss and then we credit our retain profit account so i change the color because of the double entry system then we have the blue color very nice color one right and then the next thing what you should do yeah, if you already manage this one actually many months already in your hand uh, no then the next thing we should do is to do some adjusting entry here yeah we have uh, i prepared you the additional is about the company incur additional cost of capital expenditure on biological assets. So, mean the company spend more for to acquire the biological assets. So, it goes to biological assets here and then we debit your biological asset. Oh, the wrong color. So, you should use the orange color to increase your biological asset here. So, means you debit the biological assets. For the double entry, you must credit. So, credit what? Credit cash. Huh? Under investing activities. Yeah. That means you outflow of your cash. Then, we have your piece of plan. Carrying value 245, sold for 145. Huh? So, we have debit and credit 
double entry should be done which is about uh, sold for cash mean you receive cash right so this is normally about disposal of your asset so go to the disposal account right